Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Rahana. We're playing more Gaku in Heaven 2 today. We're continuing with Takuto's route, and this will be the last video that has stuff from the common route that's specific to Takuto, and that's simply because the common route has already been covered. Um, it was the first playlist I made, of course, um, so definitely go back to that if you want to know more about the story, if you need to refresh yourself, or if you're starting with Takuto, you'll really want to check that out to understand the story of what's going on at the school. Um, and in there, you'll be able to see some of the scenes that Takuto is in, um, especially like the bath scene. The bath scene um, includes uh, Tomokuya and um, Takuto. And since I followed Tomo's path through the common route when I recorded it, um, you'll be able to see Takuto stuff too. So, um, you know, it won't contain every single little scene that Takuto was in, but you'll be able to get a good handle on the, the full story of the game. So we'll continue here, and this is kind of weird. You, you can't see what it says in the, the title bar here because I'm not recording that, but it says a few days later. Um, the, the day that this has to be, it has to be May 16th because there's a, another scene in the commoner that's dated May 17th, and it comes before that one if you're qualified to see this Takato scene. So um, it's kind of weird that they don't specify what day it is, but... A few days later, from May 14th, the soonest possible thing you can interpret that as is the 16th, because the next dated day is May 17th. I have no idea why they didn't assign a day to this. I mean, maybe it's supposed to actually come after that other scene, but the way it shows up in the game is just kind of confusing. It's like, there's, there's only one day it could be. You couldn't think a few days later would be the very next day. I don't know. But anyway, we're in the student council room, and here's Takuto, and Yuki's saying, Oh, Takuto-san, you're here. Asahina, Asahina, you're here early today. I came as soon as my classes ended. More importantly, I read Zombie-chan. Oh, but what about the summer of Stella Maris? Uh, Sorry, I haven't read that one yet. It was a bit hard to read. After all, the, the text was a sticking point. Because remember, he said it was a translated book, so it might have some kind of funkiness to it, which I know all about. Well, more importantly, there's Zombie-chan. What's the matter? Looking like that, was it disappointing? Uh uh, it was really interesting, but. When's the next one coming out? The month after next. That long? Seriously? Are you interested in the continuation? That last named Uzuka, she's not dead, is she? Who knows? Since she's the heroine, perhaps she's fine. But Miyu died so easily in the second volume, I wouldn't put anything past this author. And since the first half was an oddly heartwarming story about school life, I was completely fooled. Well, but since Uzuka is a zombie, it's not a problem, even if she dies. It is, it's too sad. Even though she's so desperate, she's chased around because she's a zombie. It can't be helped, can it? Because she's a zombie. Uh, uh, that's cold. It's because there's people like you, Takato-san, that Yuzuka can't be happy. Jeez, it's one shock after another with Ruri from before, and that was the protagonist of the comic they were talking about. Ah, 
the one that he uh, mentioned in the library and was like, oh my god, I, I need to go finish reading it because Takato hinted at some sort of spoilers but wouldn't tell him what it was. So, oh, you finished reading it. I can't believe it was actually the grandpa who transformed. It was aiming to be unpredictable, but that was a complete failure. Aww, Aww, and I thought she was cute. If at least Uzuka doesn't get happiness, I'll never recover. You're very committed. So, yeah, Yuki gets really involved when he reads things. So he read the comic, finished the comic, saw that something bad happened to this character that he liked got depressed, then he read this book, this zombie-chan book, and saw that bad things were happening to the protagonist, he got even more depressed. That's why I don't like reading. It's kind of tiring. Aren't you just empathizing too much with the characters? I wonder. So yeah, Yuki is empathizing too much with the characters, but like that's the, the mark of a good book, right? You get sucked into it and you empathize with the characters. Plus Yuki just has that kind of personality where he empathizes with people. That's what makes him such a good leader and such a good people person. Gets along with everyone and all that good stuff. So yeah, that I think is really nice as the reason why he doesn't like reading. It's not because he's a dummy. It's not because he doesn't like reading in general or thinks it's a bad thing or it's just like uh books whatever but no he he reads books and he gets depressed because bad things happen to the characters and he doesn't like that so he avoids reading books because they affect him too much and that's that's just really cute that he's so empathetic and so so kind that he can't even stand reading books or bad things happen i'm sure he doesn't like watching you know scary movies like horror movies or or things, you know, thrillers where bad things happen to people. Or, or you know, cop shows and, and stuff like that. It's just not his thing. Will you give up on reading the continuation? No way, I'll read it. I'm interested. I see. But if Uzuka is dead, but if Uzuka dies, I'll be depressed. Rather, the main character should be rescued quickly. Asahina, I think you're a good reader for properly reading through the book. Really? Yes, it's very wonderful. You'll do fine. It seems that he kind of liked that. Is he glad about it? So that's it. This is just a very brief little scene about this reading the book. And how, how Takuto is so happy that he's not only read this book, but even though it's kind of made a sad impression on him, he still wants to read it because he wants to know what happens next. So, I mean, raises some questions, which I won't say anything about because we'll find out a lot of stuff soon enough about these sorts of things. I don't want to spoil anything early on. Then again, if you've read the script on our site, you've already been spoiled, but I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who's just watching um, videos. So yeah, that concludes the scene, and that'll be the last bit of the common route here. So we'll skip ahead next time to the scene where Yuki chooses Takuto as his Bell One partner. And then from there, we'll just jump right into the, the meat of the Bell One story. So uh, thanks for watching this short scene. I hope you found that cute and enjoyable. And uh, come back next time for uh, the main story of the game. So I'll see you then.